There are so many amazing styles that you can get and unlock in Chapter 2 Season 4 just by leveling up really high. As you can see, a lot of the pro players already have unlocked these, and you can too. I'm going to give you some tips on how to go ahead and get XP quickly to level up. How do you level up your account? Well, let's just go ahead and jump into it. First thing you have to work on is your challenges. Why? Because they are the most XP gained. So you want to do your challenges as you get them. If you haven't done them, you can go back and do them. They are your best bet for XP. So go through your daily challenges. If you're having problems finding them or anything, you can always look them up on YouTube. Another tip is when you're dropping, you can actually hit the M for map, click on the challenge, and it'll show you on the physical map where you got to go. And that is a great thing to do because you can easily know where you go and you can figure it out from there. Usually it's not too difficult because a lot of the challenges are very similar. So make sure you do all your challenges. I still have some more challenges to do myself. I am trying to go for some high levels this season and we will see how we go. We got another month and a half. The season ends November 30th, so got to keep going. Some of the cool styles you can get is Thor. You get Thor Silver 105, Thor Gold 145, and Hollow at 185. Then you get Jennifer Walters and hers is 110 for Silver, 150 for Gold, and 190 for Hollow. Don't forget Groot. Groot you get 115 for Silver, 155 for Gold, and 195 for Hollow. Next we have Storm. Storm is going to be 120 for Silver, 160 for Gold, 200 for Hollow. You have Doctor Doom. He's going to be 125 Silver, 165 Gold, and 205 Hollow. And next you have Mystique. 130 Silver, 170 Gold, and 210 Hollow. Now we're getting up there. Then you have Iron Man, 135 for Silver, 175 Gold, 215 for Hollow. And then lastly, we have Wolverine, 140 Silver, 180 Gold, and 220 for Hollow. So with these very high levels, we need to get as much XP as we can. So after you've done your challenges, the next thing I would recommend to do is punch cards. Punch cards are these basically mini challenges that usually offer between 8 to 16,000 XP and you can do lots of them. I would check your punch card every once in a while, do a few of them, you know, put them on your mind of what to do and then try to accomplish them in game. I would worry about your challenges first though and get them completed before you jump into the punch. Next, you get XP just by playing. So you're going to want to play a lot, especially if you're trying to go for some of these very high things. Don't forget, you know, you will get the metal punch card. You can do things like uh, play your first match of the day, uh, find loot in a chest, ammo, or supply drop, survive top 10, 25, 50, score medals earned by earning score in team games like Team Rumble. So you want to play at least one Team Rumble a day. Battle medal, earn XP by eliminating opponents and assist assist somebody for eliminations and something that i really didn't think about is chess and ammo crates they come a long way you can't just break what they're on top of and get the loot all the time you can it's faster but you don't get xp if you search a chest it's 806 xp if you search an ammo crate it's 713 don't forget there's some other ways. If you eliminate opponent, you get 956 XP, which is great. An assist is 756 XP, so it's almost as good as an elimination. When you're harvesting, if you hit five weak spots when harvesting, you'll get 36 XP. I believe it has to be in a row. And then as you play matches, you will get survival bonus. So as long as you're in there, the match, you'll get that equal time to xp so those are a lot of good ways to go through and get xp but if you've done all those and you're still looking for more the next thing would be xp coins 
XP coins are found across the map and are introduced each week. Some stay, some go. There are different kinds. There's green, blue, purple, and gold. Just like weapons, they have their own rarity. If you see a gold coin, you want to get it. If you see a purple coin, you want to get it. With the purple coin, when you get them, they kind of blow up into a bunch of little coins. Best thing to do is make a one by one, get the coin, and then it stays in that one by one so you can collect them. The green coin's still good, but not as good as the blue, purple, and gold. So don't kill yourself over it, but if it's gold, you're going to want to risk it. These are some great ways to go through and get a lot of XP, and simply by playing every day, it'll just add on. I'm not extremely high level right now, I didn't buy anything, and I do a lot of creative and customs, and I'm at level 92. And I don't see a problem with me getting maybe 200, 220, I don't know. I would like to put even more time into the game, it's just you can only play so much, and I play about three and a half hours a day, and I have other things going on, so you know how it is. So that is the main ways of leveling up quickly. Like I said, do a new, if you have the challenges done, challenges first, then punch cards. As you're playing, collect those coins. Feel free to Google. Go to google.com, click on images, and type Fortnite XP coin and what week it is. You know, you could add chapter two, season four if you need to. And it'll show you maps of where all the coins are. Look at the gold and purple and hunt those down first. Then make sure you're focused on the punch cards. Get them completed and just play. Be consistent. Play another game mode at least once a day for that extra challenge. And get eliminations, search chests, search ammo crates. You'll level up quick, really quick, and you will get the top tiers. Now you might say I'm only level 92. Well, I haven't done all my challenges. I've been slacking. I haven't done all my punch cards. I've been slacking. I haven't got all my coins. I've been slacking. If I go through and take a day or two to do those, I will be a lot higher up and I'll probably do that coming up soon. In one of the streams, I'll just, you know, we'll work on challenges and the next one we'll work on something else. So that's everything. If you're interested in stopping by a stream, seeing how it works, they're a lot of fun and we're gaining more and more people. We usually have around 20 people watching at a time, so come check it out. I'll put the link up there. It is on YouTube, but it is a different channel. So you're staying on the platform, but you're going to Kevin Smack Plays instead of Kevin Smack. So I'll see you over there. If there's more footage, I'll let it play. Ah, kid, jump! I just get shot. Oh, he's got to come up eventually, right? Why did I not see him?
Dude, where is this guy? Get some! Can't see what everything is. Which one is that? Iron Man? Yeah, this one's always good. Wow. Should have kept the sniper. That guy's insane! Why can't I build? That's just a tease right there. <laughs> Stop going for the heel smack. I don't want to die to this guy. No! <laughs> I started choking so bad there. I started choking so bad. I was like, if I lose to this guy, then I'm like, I'm going to start playing really bad because I'm worried. <laughs> Seven limbs will take it. Good way to start off the stream. Can we get some GGs in the chat? Let's go! 